Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Predator 2 Ultimate Snake Predator. I know this guy came out a while ago, but I finally got review samples of some things that I could not track down, so thanks to them for that. And I wanted to review these things for you guys. So hopefully they are good figures. Pretty much at this point, if you're buying Predators from NECA, you know what you're getting. This looks like it's supposed to be on the front. Is it? I think it is. It came that way, I didn't do that. We'll fix that later. Anyway, you know pretty much what you're getting, but there are differences amongst the figures, so I figured I'd go ahead and review it for you. Actually, we're gonna be reviewing all of these guys that came out with this batch, so stick around for that. But let's go ahead and get this guy off the stand and take a closer look. Alrighty, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's go ahead and take a look at my package. We have some really nice artwork. Interesting note though, it doesn't quite match the figure. Uh, not in the details, because I don't care about that, like all the head details and stuff like that, that's fine. But he's got a grayer set of armor, and I think it looks significantly better than the bronze. So that's worth noting. Different. And he also seems to have some kind of cape, which this guy does not. So I don't know what this artwork is, I don't know where it came from, I don't know if it's from a comic, or if it's made for the figure, or what, I have no clue. But I have to say personally, I think this looks better than this, in a general sense but okay back to the packaging on the side you get your metallic predator you get some figure poses back here they have him holding the big spikes on top this artwork has him holding it the other way i would have him this way probably personally but i don't know okay and then we have our flap with another figure pose and some silica gel all right there you go packaging covered let's talk about this guy he stands roughly Let's call it 20 and a half centimeters. That's gonna be just about eight and a quarter inches. A little bit higher than that probably. There he is up against a Darwin. Much, much bigger. All right. So, question of the day. How many predators is the right amount to you guys? Do you collect all of them? Like all of the movie-based ones? Or all of the game ones? Or all of them, all of them? Or only unique ones? Or how do you choose which ones to buy? Because like I said, mostly they're the same figure. Everybody knows that, but there are unique differences like the details here or the fur, things like that, definitely unique paint jobs for sure, patterns, but it's largely the same. So I'm curious how you guys decide. For me personally, uh, other than for ones I'm reviewing, obviously for you guys, did I say obviously twice? I think I did. Um, I go by just what they look like because I couldn't care less about their backstory or fiction or anything like that, just if they have cool armor. Okay, so let's dive into the aesthetic. This guy's paint job, throwing this out there right now, easily one of the best from NECA that I have ever seen, ever. And I have reviewed almost every one of their Predators um, since they started being highly articulated. Like I think it was the AVP ones that started that. None of the older ones, but I have reviewed most of them anyway. And this guy's paint job is just bonkers. The details on his head, basically perfect everywhere. There's more paint right there than in 15 waves of Marvel Legends. That's not true, but you get the idea. There's a bunch of paint there and it's really clean. Did they do a good job on his eyes? They did, those are pretty much centered. Those look really, really good. The jaw looks good, the face looks good, everything looks good. Let's move down to his stripper gear, the fishnet. Weird, weird character design if you ask me, but NECA seems to have just really hit the nail on the head with this gray paint job for the wire or for the mesh. It's really clean. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's definitely one of the best ones I've seen. Then you do have all of the perfectly done shading behind it. I'm telling you guys, if you only collect Hasbro products, please try something else that looks cool, that tickles your fancy. Just give it a shot and see what you think. Because look at this paint job. I don't know what this guy costs. Are they 40 bucks now? Even if they're 45, I don't think they're that much. It's worth it. I'm betting this guy's 35. I'll put the price up there. I think these ultimates are like 35 to 40 maybe. It's been a while since I bought a Predator at the store because they never have them. But it's just so much more fun to have a collectible that looks good than just character of the week made out of bare plastic. Paint job is so important. And this guy has it just... It's incredible, it, I, it stood out to me. Look how clean that mesh is. Hasbro can't paint a Darwin. This isn't beat up for me using it, it came that way. Versus this. And then even the metal parts with the nice wash, it's gorgeous. 
It is gorgeous. I hate fur on my figures. They put fur on it. That's the character design, I guess, whatever. As far as fur goes on a figure, it's fine, I guess. I hate it personally. All right, and then they also did a really, really nice job on this, and it's a simple thing, but look at that. A little bit of wash goes a really long way to bring this to life, and they painted the little rope thingies a separate color, and it looks gorgeous. I'm gonna say this is my least favorite looking, personally, my least favorite looking predator in a long time. Because of the fur, he doesn't have much armor on, it's just blah to me. But objectively, this thing is gorgeous. Aesthetically speaking, 9.8 out of 10. The fur's not perfect. This fur is jacked up over here a little bit, but dang, I am impressed by this paint job. The last couple predators I looked at, which was a while ago, didn't look that great. This guy does. Okay, as far as accessories go, you get the alternate head with the helmet on. Very cool looking helmet. You can, I don't think I'm gonna be able to photograph this well, but you can see predator eyes in there. It is sculpted in there. Very nicely done, love that helmet. Um, I really like this helmet just as a side note. I haven't seen it before this figure and I like it. Okay, then he comes with the two wide open hands on him in the package. Then you get two gripping hands and uh, another open hand for holding his stuff. You get those two weird curved blades. You get the two throwing discs. You get the little space pine cone. Then you get the extended space pine cone. And then you get the skull and spinal column, which is nicely done. So good spread of accessories. Uh, he doesn't have a backpack or anything for blasts and stuff like that. So like I said, not my favorite design, but good accessories nonetheless. I'll give him an eight for accessories. No, you know what? He probably can't have much more other than like a blood effect or something like that or an open mouth. So I'll go nine, but like a yelling head would have been cool. Okay, let's talk about the articulation. This guy's head can lean back quite well. Let's take his necklace down so it looks better. He looks up nicely. He looks down nicely. Are they still doing doubles or singles? It feels like it might be a double bald peg. Leans to the side, that's awesome. And of course you get your rotation and your leaning because bald pegs are the superior joint. Look at that neck motion. Awesome. Shoulder pad connected to the arm. Arm could be painted better underneath the shoulder pad, but you're probably not gonna see that too much. But because of that, you can raise his arm up pretty well, up to horizontal. On this side, the shoulder pad is connected to the shoulder, so it's gonna get in the way. And I can't raise it higher than that, but that's not too bad. Okay, and then you get your full rotation, of course. Bicep swivel is gonna work same on either side, and now the arms are the same, so we only can do, only have to do one. Double jointed elbow works nicely. More detailed paint work. Tell you what, paint work really makes a figure look good. And then you get your wrist swivel and hinge. Okay, the reason I'm harping on the paint job so much, where'd it go? Because I just filmed this one. I do my reviews, I film them in batches of three usually, and I just filmed this guy prior. And this is Hasbro's paint job. It's just ridiculous. It's not even sculpted, it's just paint. Like, please guys, please do yourself a favor, try a few different brands of figures and see what you think. If you're only stuck to one brand right now, you might enjoy something different. Okay, torso, upper torso, not getting it to go that far. A lot of people tell me if you heat it up, you can get it to go farther. That's probably true, but I have to review things as they come out of the box. It leans back and forward a little bit. No gappiness or anything, but limited range. Same thing going to the side. Rotation is fine. Then you get a ball peg down here in the lower abdomen. It has a little bit of lean and a little bit of rotation, but not a whole lot going on. Like, yeah, you can rotate, but that's it. Uh, this is a floaty piece. These are connected. So let's see the hips. Oh no, we're back to having stuck together annoying floppy hips. I hate that. Not floppy floppy, but floppy together. Once you pose one, you're fine. But if you leave them to just neutral, they will wiggle. Because the way the NECA hips work in this style is that they're connected to each other. So once you pose them, there's resistance. But if you're just moving them together like this, there's nothing holding them to get holding them in place. So going out to the side on that side is good. On this side, less good because of the throwing disc thingy right here. And you could kind of cheat by popping the flap out, but you don't want to do that. So not great range on the hips going out to the side. Going forward, full on forward, that's fine. Goes back a little bit, so that's not too bad. You do get a thigh swivel. There's no floppiness, by the way, other than when they move together, so that's okay. Double jointed knee does work nicely. Plenty of range there. Still have the net launcher thing down here, I hate that. I wish they would just make a second leg that doesn't have the hole in it. 
they use it enough. And look at that, they even painted and sculpted inside the joints. Look at that. Okay. All right, and then I wasn't expecting to care about this figure. I was expecting to not like it even more because of the fur, but they did a really good job on the paint. Ankles are ball pegs, but they're stiff and have decent range, so they're okay. So articulation, not this guy's strong suit, but certainly good enough. I'll give it a seven. Perfectly adequate, but nothing good. Especially good. Okay, so time for a final verdict on this guy. If you're looking for a really, really nice looking collectible that poses well enough and comes with a good spread of accessories, this is it. It's awesome. If you happen to like this predator, whatever its name is, I can't remember offhand, snake or serpent or something like that. I think it's snake. Then, hey, you win. This figure is great. All right, I'm going to give it a final verdict of... I'm only going to do 8 out of 10 because we do have some articulation issues with the hips. That's not cool. I wish the ankles would have better range and things that get reused a lot. I think we could have some alternate parts like, like this here or like an extra head or something. Another extra head, like a yelling head or something like that. Like they do reuse a lot of parts, so I wouldn't mind a little bit more. But seriously, that's really pushing it because look at the sculpt in the paint. According to Hasbro, paint is really expensive, so this guy is probably worth triple what he costs. So I could probably go nine, but I'm going to stick to eight just because I want them to fix those hips. All right, guys, there it is. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you probably should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.